What's up, y'all? This is going to be another quickie with Dantron. I'm going to give you probably about a right around sub five minute tutorial on how to map a Techno Parrot game using LED Blinky onto your control panel um, as far as the lighting layout. Uh, it should be pretty quick and easy, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So, first and foremost, you got to get into here and find out where your LED Blinky file is located. Mine I actually have in tools. So, wherever yours is, as you can see here, I got my LED Blinky right here so i'm gonna click into here what you're going to want to go into is actually led blinky controls editor kind of looks like uh those little double boxes down here as you can see so i'm going to come up into here and i have a, a grouping called techno parrot already so you you might have to create this if you haven't done that already but that should be pretty self-explanatory so i'm going to click techno parrot and now i want to find a game that i want to map that I have not, uh, you know, because you got to know the ROM name and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to tell you the easy way to do it. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to come on over here. I'm going to go import unknown games. You got to wait for a second sometimes because it takes a while for it to compile what's going on. And then I'm going to scroll through down to Techno Parrot. And now I'm going to start looking through which game do I want to do. I know what I want to do. I want to do H2 Overdrive. Okay, so I'm going to click that one. I'm going to click OK. And you're gonna see it's down here now, H2 Overdrive. So what I'm gonna do, cause I like to make this a, um, to fill out my entire control panel, four player. Um, if you have a two player panel, this usually goes a little bit faster, but let me give you a kind of a quick rundown. So what I'm gonna end up doing here is I'm gonna say four player, even though it's a one player game, but I want four panels to light up. So then I'm gonna go into player one and I'm going to go new. I'm gonna say player one, button one, and I'm going to call it, let's see, I might as well do, because I'm going to do blue and then lighter color. So let's do that. So I'm going to go cyan first. So you can kind of see how I'm going to do this color scheme. So and I'm, I pick cyan, I'm going to go quick code, and I'm going to press the button that I want it to correspond to. Player one, button one. All right, then I'm going to go OK. Now I'm going to go next. I'm going to go up to here again. I'm going to do this kind of quick. Player one, button two. I'm going to go, and I want that to be light colored as well. So let's go cyan. Just because of the color schemes, you can put whatever you want. Quick code, I'm gonna hit that one there. And I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna do new again, control three. And then I'm gonna go named color. Uh, scroll it back down to cyan. And then I'm gonna go quick code three. I'm gonna say okay. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna go to button four. Now I'm gonna change the color a little bit just because I like the water colors. And I'm gonna go blue on this one. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna go blue, I'm gonna go quick code, I'm gonna hit four, okay, new. And you're just gonna kind of work your way through all the buttons. I'm going kind of fast, but I want, you, you kind of get the concept of what's going on here. Then I'm gonna go blue again, I'm gonna do quick code, I'm at button five. Then we go new button six. I'm only gonna map one, but it's the same for all the different buttons um, for each individual controller. I'll kind of show you here what I'm talking about once I get this thing done. So this is button six, and now I'm gonna go, okay, so I got lighter colors on the top, I'm gonna have darker blue there. Now do I want lighter again, or do I want darker blue again? Mm, let's go with darker blue, I'll just keep going dark blue. So now I'm gonna go, okay, new, I'm gonna keep going blue. Now I can start with like lighter colored blues and work all the way through, this is just an example, I'm just kind of flying off the seat of my pants. So we're gonna go down again, because I don't like pants anyways. And then we're going to go quick code for button seven. Okay. We're going to go button eight. Blue again. Actually, I should probably do like violet. Would that be cool? Um, oh, if you're noticing, this is what color that we're looking at um, when you highlight it. So let's see, what does it look like if I go purple? Uh, purple might look all right. Violet. Mm, violet's okay. Magenta. Ooh. I think maybe if I was to do anything, I'd probably go violet, but nope, I'm gonna keep it blue. Quick code, this is button there. Okay, so now this is just an example of player one. So you would wanna do whatever you're gonna do for player two, you'll just have to go through the same process and then same thing for player three and player four. So once you're done, you're gonna wanna go okay. And you're gonna see it actually populated over here and I'm gonna go save. By the way, before you do any of this stuff, you're going to want to save a backup of LED Blinky, uh, the folder itself, because you never know, sometimes things wig out. So then when I click into here, that should be it. So let's see if I can, um, let me launch up, 
um, H2 Overdrive for us and you'll see what's going on there. All right, so here we are now, and I just fired up LaunchBox really quick just to kind of cut down some time. Um, this is in my favorites list. I just highlighted H2 Overdrive, and as you can see, the color, the panel layout is there and correct. For example, I've done it already for PC games. PC games are a little bit easier, so like if I click Hades, then it'll change to Xbox controller layout. But for the Technoparrot games in particular, you have to map them. You can't do like a global map for all of them like you can on some of the other categories. You gotta do per game. So H2 Overdrive, remember I showed you, I only mapped the one space, so if you wanted to make it all blue, which I'm gonna continue and do, then it looks like the ocean. So when you're playing, it'll look like water out there. So, um, but anyways, that's it. I hope that this helps you a little bit, and um, I'll see you on the live side. I'm just kidding. I decided to finish out the map and show you what it looks like when you actually launch everything up. So I finished out the map, and then, um, you have it set up, I launched out of launch, launch box, so LED Blinky already fires up. And so as you're playing, you'll be able to enjoy some, it doesn't have to be the same color scheme as me, I was just giving it as an example. I might even change this a little bit. But normally I have a steering wheel mapped for this. So as you can see, I don't have my steering wheel hooked up, so I'm not gonna actually play it at the moment, but I just wanted you to see that um, it's a lot more pleasing to look at when you have your LED um, lights actually doing something rather than it not being mapped at all in a game. So hopefully you found this educational, and uh, later.